Hi, everybody. So I thought I would show you, I think you can see a little bit, um, my jalapeno set. I'm very excited tonight because I'm going to make jalapeno poppers and I've never done it before. I'm going to use my air fryer first time ever. Um, so right now I'm cutting them in half and then I have to take out the insides. So once that's done, I have to make up some type of cream cheese and cheese mixture that I put inside and then wrap it with bacon. And then for that point, I have no idea. <laughs> but um, the recipe is on the Tasty app. So you can go ahead and check that out if you'd like. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be good. In the picture, the bacon doesn't look so crispy. I like my bacon crispy. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure how that's going to be. But I also got, and if anybody knows what Sonoran hot dogs are, I love Sonoran hot dogs. I don't know why. I mean, if you were to get really technical, I want to say that it's probably just regular hot dog. But there's something about the way they make it. Oh, and we found this taco truck, actually a Sonoran hot dog truck, um, that is way on the other side of town. But let me, I don't know what he does. But those Sonoran hot dogs are so good. So I'm not going to investigate it because I don't want to be told, like, terrible things. <laughs> so um, I'd rather just go ahead and live in my world of they are perfect. Plus, this guy, like, totally cooks the buns. Like, he toasts them. Oh, it, it, he's just magnificent. Anyways, and he gives you one of these. Now, these are not spicy, but they can be. Um, but traditionally, as far as I know, I, I actually don't know, but <laughs> traditionally, they wrap this in bacon and... Um, cook it and it's delicious. So you have your Sonoran hot dog and this. Well, I was thinking about making Sonoran hot dogs tonight, um, but we don't really eat a lot of breads and we already had rice this week. And so I don't want to overdo that, but I just think these are so gorgeous. Now I want to say these are three forty nine dollars a pound right now at Fry's. Yikes. <laughs> The jalapenos, on the other hand, are like 99 cents a pound. And I have been eating a lot more jalapenos. Now, Donnie cooks on the weekend for the most part, and so he will make glorious breakfasts. And one time I was like, I didn't realize I bought green bell peppers, but it wasn't that. He actually sauteed beautifully jalapeno peppers, and I, I just don't know enough about cooking to know to do that. So that was really a treat. And now I'll actually take um, various colors of peppers. I, I normally don't buy the green ones. I think that there's a bit of a bitter taste to it that I, I just don't enjoy. Um, but I will take saute the bell peppers and I'll throw in jalapenos and just whip it up in some type of saute thing. And so um, that has become one of my most favorite things to consume. So another thing is, uh, of course, next week I go and see Beth again. So I know it's going to be the whole potassium story. Um, I went ahead and got, I want to say Minot Minotona, Minnesota <laughs> type oranges. I like them with this little bump. I feel like it just makes the orange taste so delicious. And I I don't know anything else about it, but I normally, when I buy an orange, I will buy a Cara Cara or Cara Cara and, or, or these. Um, and I only buy like maybe two a week. I don't do the whole bag. Um, just because I really, I see them and I want to eat them and I have been known to not eat them in time. So <laughs> I, I realized I need to start just by one or two and then seeing how it goes. So for this week, I got two and I already ate one today because I was really hungry. Um, and then I can't believe the cost of avocado. 
So this was $2. That's insane. Um, I got one because typically Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings when Donnie cooks, he likes to present an avocado. <laughs> I just think he's the greatest because he really is a great caretaker. To be completely honest, he's very well alerted to my dietary needs. And what's wonderful again is that he eats very similar to me anyways. So I don't have that battle over like pizzas and burgers and deep fried chicken and french fries you know like sometimes if we do order fries it's something we're both sharing so that we're not overly consuming the french fries but anyways i can't believe that this was two for four dollars crazy crazy but guess what else i found on sale guacamole now this was a dollar fifty and you, it, it was one of those things fries does this thing like if you buy five it's this price so i went ahead and bought three of these and then um, because I do have Ben and as a treat I went ahead and bought him some boxes of cereal because I wanted him to be able to have some treats as well. Um, one was Lucky Charms. <laughs> They're magically delicious um, which he's already dove into and then the other one is um, Honey Nut Cheerios which he'll eat too and the boy does not eat it with milk. He never has. He's never been a saucy kid. <laughs> um, now he'll eat a little bit of mayonnaise. Um, I don't think he does mustard. He might do a little ketchup. He might do ranch, but that's about it. Um, he doesn't do milk. He doesn't, he'll, he will do now um, butter and syrup on his pancakes though. So that is, that's one thing he'll do. <laughs> but for the longest time, he never did. Uh, chicken nuggets, when he was in that phase, never had any of the dipping sauces. So on um, the one hand, that's great because usually dipping sauces and all of that stuff is sugar. Ketchup is sugar. So <laughs> we don't do a lot of that. But we do like to, um, I do like to give him a little bit of a treat on the weekends. I also bought him a... Um, a cheesy bagel and Donnie a jalapeno cheesy bagel which is probably the bread that Don will eat this entire week and um, of course Ben loves bread but I, I try not to overfeed him bread because he he'll eat he'll eat it all um, he's just been always been a great carb guy and it doesn't seem like it weighs on him and he, he definitely gets enough exercise to burn it off and that's always my biggest concern so um, but I was very thrilled to get some jalapeno or some guacamole because um, it gets a little tiring eating avocado after avocado. Um, I, I'm being trying to be as faithful as I can to eating my bananas. I've already ate a um, orange today, so I mean my potassium level probably is not even at range at that even at that point. But if I do that every day, it gets a little easier and I'll actually not even eat chips with this. I'll take a spoon and I'll eat half of it and then save the half for another time. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird. We just, we just don't do this, but we do have tortilla chips and I think I'm going to make some, um, pico de gallo salsa because I, I do like that a lot. So maybe I'll make some of that a little bit later on too, but I need to get back to going onto this because the sooner I can get all this taken care of, the sooner um, we can eat and it's not too late in the evening. And I try not to eat too late in the evening, although for the boys, it doesn't matter how. So like um, a week or so ago, I don't know if I told you that I found kilt lifter sausages for like five bucks and it was great. <laughs> In fact, I, th I thought they were really good. So I went ahead today and bought peach ale ones. And so that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. We're going to have this, um, the jalapeno poppers and then the other, um, peppers. Um, I'm thinking I might need to make something else though, because I don't want the guys to starve to death. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'll snap some pictures of my process. Hopefully this turns out okay. And you guys have a really good weekend. Bye-bye.